Hello friends, welcome back to Megatron Solution and my name is Rushil Sivak. Hope you all are doing well. So let's continue our series on automation. So before starting this tutorial, I want to request you please like, share and subscribe our channel and also don't forget to click on bell icon to get a first update from our videos and channel. Okay. So as discussed in previous video tutorial, we talked about PLC. What is PLC? The main component of the PLC and PLC block diagram. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about Mitsubishi make GOC 35 PLC. In this tutorial, we will going to cover about GOC 35 hardware configuration, GOC 35 software, how to program GOC 35, from where we can get the software for the GOC 35, which extension module we can interface with GOC 35, and uh, also communication protocol facility with GOC 35. So let's begin our tutorial on GOC 35. So GOC 35 has built-in HMI and controller. So no need to purchase separate HMI for our project. So let's begin. We will start the GOC 35 in detail. So this is a GOC 35 front view. It has built in HMI. It is monochrome HMI. So it has K1 to K8 buttons that can be configured as per our requirement. For example, we have to inching uh, mode for the button so we have to set from the software here at the F1, F2, F3 and F4 up to F5 buttons from that we can give input to the our program for example we have to give some numeric number from the keypad or HMI so by F1 to F2 we can give input to the HMI or our program here is the another button say home button arrow keys and enter keys from that we can monitor the I.O. We can configure the PLC address like 192.168.1.1. We can set the subnet mask, gateway, etc. From here, we can configure the RTC or set the RTC. We can monitor the input and output status of the PLC from this display. So this is very good uh, PLC. Then uh, it is back side of the GOC 35. This model detail is GC 35 MH 32 MRT. It means it has 16 input as well as 16 output. And D means it has relay in output. Okay. So it has another uh, it mainly GOC 35 has six variant. The, it, the variants are it, uh, some variants are GC 35 MH 16 MR. It means it has eight input and eight output. And another is GC 35 MH 32 MR. It means it has 16 input and 16 output. So the another variant has the different different output capabilities. Like if you want uh, sync output, source output, then you can go with the another variant of the GOC 35. It has mainly two communication port. First is over here and second is over here. For programming download and upload purpose, we must have to use COM port 1 by using Ethernet port or RS232 port. We can download and upload program which is developed by automation engineer or programmer from the software. And the second communication port which is used for the communication devices, field devices like HMI and controllers. So these are the main two communication port. Here you can see another two attachment over here this is the one extension module slot and this is another extension module slot in first module slot we interface gc4hs xpty it is high speed input module and it will give pulse strength output to the particular drives or particular controller to run servo as well as stepper motor and then Another input, in, uh, another attachment. We are connected with GC4UAD-10E, which has four analog input channel. 
we can configure that channel as per our application and this module is universal it can support 0 to 10 volt dc 4 to 20 milliampere 0 to 20 milliampere and we can also use three wire rtd sensor with this so it is very good plc to kick start your automation career okay so from next video we will going to talk about goc 35 software download and installation thank you namaste